Hi, I'm Hendry from Hiking in Finland and thanks for sapping in today. Today I want to take a look at the Jetboil Salty. It's a gas stove and it's probably at the moment the lightest gas stove system on the market. There's a lot of talk online about it, so I think it's a good idea to have a look at what this stove consists of, how fast it is and uh, if it really is as great as everyone wants us to believe. So let's look what the Salty consists of. It's a very compact package as you can see and it has a lid and inside we find a pot support and I have here a 100 gram power gas, isobutan, petrol then the stove windscreen unit and the pot support or support for the gas patron. Then we also have here down what could be used as a cup. It has measurements up to 200 milliliters here and it also protects the bottom of the pot. As you can see the pot has a heat exchanger here but uh, this doesn't really work as a windscreen. Then we have this sleeve which you can take off which offers a little bit of insulation if you want to grab the pit like this and also a very handy uh, grip. The pot is 800 milliliters but it has markings until 500. Seeing this I'm not confident that it actually would be 800. I probably would leave uh, around two fingers wide uh, space with water inside so I would say confidently I would put around 600 milliliters in there without that it boils over and, and your boiling water jumps everywhere. Okay, let's look how to assemble the whole stove system and then let's boil some 500 milliliters of water and take the time to see how efficient and fast and awesome the jet boil salt tea is. Now the pots support which comes with it is for bigger pots. There's the uh, sumo pot which is 1.8 liters but uh, as I don't have this pot and don't think that it is necessary to use it here I won't use this now. So first off as I have the canister support with me I would just clip this in and that allows me to have a safe stand with the gas that it doesn't fall over. I took a 100 milliliter gas petrol because it fits in here. Anything bigger doesn't fit but if you go for a short trip then this should be no problem. Then you unzip the regulator and just screw the stove unit on. done. You should never put an uh, empty pot on any source of heat because it can ruin your pot and especially titanium is it won't go broken but it, it might be uh, deforming so it's a useful thing to always first fill water in there before you lighten it up. I'm going for 500 milliliters in the pot and I will use the inside markings to look that it is right. Lid on top and then we're ready. The Jetboil Salty has a piezoing ignition which sits over here, the black button. So what I will do is first open the gas and then fire her up. So that was just a short example to show you how it looks. Of course what you want to do in case of not to burn yourself or to eat a neoprene sleeve is first secure the pot unit on it. You screw this in 
like this. And then again, open the gas. Take up your phone <laughs> to take the time. And go. Well, that was an amazingly fast, around 1 minute 50 seconds for 500 milliliters of water. So it's really quick. Uh, as you saw, it was boiling over a bit and it already started after 1.30 to uh, have a little bit of steam coming, steam coming out. So, so it is amazingly fast as you just saw. And the amount of gas used, you can read right now over here. And I think it is a very good demonstration of uh, how fast and powerful this small new stove is. I'm not going to use a drink a cup of tea to not waste this water. And uh, I hope that you will check in in the future when I have a full-blown review about this little stove. If you find that this short look at the Jetboil Salt Tea is already enough for you to make up your mind, check out webtalks.co.uk and uh, buy one there. They have a great customer service and are really friendly and uh, will help you with all your needs. They sent me this one free of charge, so just at your warrant.